Shoot me, Kamaru! There! I shot you. I shot you, buddy. How's that? It's punishment time! But not for me, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hell no! I'm about to hand out a righteous smackdown to these warriors at home. These kittens need discipline. When Papa was an ickle little boy and he done something naughty, he would get up right off his booty. And that set me straight because I am now an angel. But times have changed, haven't they? So I need to go to these kittens and just tell them, no, you're doing it wrong. I'll educate them with my words. And if all else fails, then... Ooh, let's get physical! Well, no kid's gonna respect me after that. Hey, 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 everyone, Razveski here, and welcome back to Danganronpa Ultra Despair Girls. And ow, baby! In the previous episode, we learned that Toko was actually gonna betray us. How could you do that to me, Toko? I had your back the entire time! And this is how you wanna do me? After all this time we spent together! Well, luckily for you, I don't hold a grudge. So we're gonna save you, master. Am I gonna wipe despair off the face of this planet? Guys, if you're hyped for this video and the return of Danganronpa, then please hit that like button. It really, really is appreciated. Let's shoot for 2,000 beautiful likes. And you already know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. If this video hits 2,500 beautiful likes, then in two days' time, I'll give you the next part. Because Pappy's gonna leave this off in a cliffhanger. So let's just dive straight in, baby. Woo! Papa's spicy comment of the day comes from Pokegamer220. Thank you very much, Poke. If this is comment of the day, I will donate $1,000 to charity. Now that's a hero. That's the kind of person this world needs, Pokegamer. I hope you're not writing checks that your ass can't cash because it's time to make it rain, baby. Hero! As always, the bathroom facilities here have been, uh, quacking! I think I made a similar terrible pun in the previous episode. Thank you very much, little man. That was a quacking safe point. I have really hit a new low. Hell yeah, back down in the subway, baby! Toko, what's up, baby girl? Find the base. We have to find somewhere we can get into the sewer. Mm, that means going in the stank poo-poo water again. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I want to know. Yeah? Hmm? What about? How I get my hair to stand this erect? Uh, um, you said I'm your friend? Hell yeah, girl. I mean, we're best buddies. We're bosom buddies. We, we, we've been through thick and thin. We spoon occasionally. That's how good of friends we are, you know? Even better friends if you believe some of the fan fictions online. Woo! I did say that. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you... My number one is still master. <laughs> you really do know how to break my heart, Toko Fukawa. Um, okay. But something like that, that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? Toko, do you know what friends are? D don't patronize me. It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends. Ooh, now this is a friendship I'm gonna get down on. They become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Have a what? Have a, where were you going with that? Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... Please keep the sweets in there. What? Never mind. I don't know. Oh, you don't what have any friends. Hell? Talk to me here. Well... I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. Except hold my hand occasionally when I'm scared. Mm, but that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. it. It doesn't feel real. Learn to embrace it, Fukawa. Am I annoying, Kamaru? The way <gasps> I am now. Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. <laughs> oh, bless her. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? Oh. Who the hell is that? You! It'll be your nickname! Ha <laughs> Toki! Oh, I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. Oh. Never? Not even as a kid? Well, I hope we get along together, Toki. Uh -oh. What happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? Toki's a bad name, but she's gonna trigger her. Uh, it, it's fine. I will withstand it. I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. Now, say it again. Say it one more time. I will not retreat. Toki. Toki. No, no. <laughs> she can't. No, it's it's too much. It's a bit cringy, isn't it? Never mind. I'm just gonna call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. 
<laughs> she doesn't know how to function. She doesn't know how to do things. Okay. Well, Toki, we're going to go on an adventure. Oh, dear. The subway conductor has just fallen over in a pool of his own stool. Looks like we can't go any further. No, but we can go to Let's bed together. Hello. Here we go, secrets, the bomb inside her three. Hell yeah. I've been looking forward to the final conclusion of this story. Yumi, the girl with the bomb inside her womb, cannot love, and yet she has chosen. I, I want to fall in love with Shota. If I can fall deeper in love with him, I, I don't mind if this body of mine burns away. However, a new character who has feelings for Yumi appears, Motomoto Nikaido. Your life isn't only yours. My love is only mine. A charred body of love or a living doll. Which fate will Yumi choose? The third voice? Volume of the fiery love story. Hell oh, no. yeah. Hey, are, are you the type who's okay with spoilers? What's going on? B what brought this on? Amazing. The third volume of the bomb is so good. I, I gotta talk about it. But uh, are you okay with spoilers? Don't mess with me. Okay. How many times do I have to tell you? I have no interest in manga at all. Hey, manga's literature. So Yoko, the girl from the second volume, tries to stop Yumi from giving in to despair. And she says this. Oh, it's so beautiful. I'm tearing up just remembering it. Oh, Yumi, Yoko, I'm so happy for you. Hey, Kamaru, come back to reality. Oh, bless her. Huh? D did you... You stopped calling me Omaru. Oh, did I? You're probably mistaken. Toko. No, I heard right. I tried to call you Toki, and you knew that and tried to call me by my name, right? What? You got a problem with that? You think I'm too gloomy to have a character arc? Oh, bless her. <laughs> no, it's not that at all. It just makes me really happy. Thanks, Toki. <laughs> oh, um, so, so, sorry, that, that slipped out on accident. Oh, dear. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am, Toki. <laughs> oh, there's a crumbly wall. I could probably break that somehow. Oh, hello. It looks like... Another present. From President Monokuma face? Yeah. What do you got here? This is gonna be another another truth bullet? <laughs> Link! Oh, it's a rainbow boy! Hello! Do you love me a good rainbow? Doesn't look like it'd do any damage. No. But it might be of some use. Uh yeah, bet it's gonna be some use because we're gonna use it to open that gap in the wall. Okay. Is there a monokuma? There is a monokuma. You? Link! Okay, oh, I am actually the Monokuma, hell yeah! Okay, so can I come over here? Look at me playing as Monokuma, yes! Now, I would like to attack F! Did that not work? Maybe I have to trick shot it from a distance. What the hell? Why can't I not break this open? Wait, hold on a second. Right, let's just do that. Let's press C. Okay, let's just turn around. You know what? I'm fed up. I'm just gonna shoot him over. Shoot him over. Let him blow up that way. Haha, <laughs> this is what I'll do. Now we can move on. Why didn't it just say that I could do that? If you use it right, even a monokuma. Jiminy Christmas, I was wasting time trying to use his little booms to do it, but it looks like I have to use one big explosion. Very annoying. <laughs> yes, I did it. Um, what did you do? I killed a child. I destroyed a monokuma all by myself. Well, well done you. Well done. Actually, no, well done you. That's good. <laughs> One less run to worry about, am I right? Toei is safe now. There's no need to hide anymore. <laughs> you no longer need to worry about your families or friends being killed. You no longer need to see others killed. <laughs> you should all be grateful. Cry in tears of joy that I have saved you. She's completely gone. <laughs> My husband, Dora, didn't die in Vain, thanks to them, I know Monokuma's weaknesses. Their deaths have been avenged. Mm -hmm. She's gone. I think it's best just um, leave her be. Right. Yes, sometimes it's better not to wake up from a dream. Yeah, just leave her there, crazy girl. Um, oh yeah, you just do, you do you, girl. You do you. I shouldn't be judging, though, because I'm all for bringing down these runts. Maybe not with a crowbar like her, though. But at the end of the day, we gotta do what we gotta do. Come on, Toki. We got stuff to do. We gotta look for a place we can get into the sewers. Oh, I hear a Monokuma. I hear one going about. Where are you? Oh, I found him. Oh, dear. Wait until he turns around. When you turn around, boy, you go. Luckily, I got good shooting skills because that that worried me a little there. I'm not gonna lie, my trousers are now brown. Well, I don't know how we got a nice shot on him, but I did. Boom! 
Boom! Oh, oh, come on, come on. I mean, come on. I'm just too good. I'm just too damn good. Now, there's got to be... Ah, there is a secret right here. Thank you very much. I'll be taking that home right now. What have we got here? Oh, jeez, you're a dirty sock. And the first time you were inside me, I was fine. But now I'm starting to get all loose with a winky face. Oh, my God. That sock's nasty. There's no way this ceiling is going to collapse. Oh, wow. Thanks right? for... Thanks for jinxing There's no it. no way they'd use the same tired plot device twice. I yeah. won't allow it. No, Danganronpa, of course they use the same one. Have you not seen the chapter fours in the game? So they're always the same. Anyway, this kitten's jumping. They're actually jumping on bodies. Okay, well, I hope those bodies fart and release a toxic gas right into your face because that would be hilarious and then you won't be laughing, will you, kittens? What we got here? Oh, I got some more rainbow bullets for moves. Ah, I need to move you. Okay, that's why. So I need to grab you. So how am I going to do this? I need to move you here. And you need to just stay there. Okay? Then I need to go all the way around to, to get rid of him. Time to go. Hell yeah. <laughs> now that's what I'm talking about. Did I just get one break? <laughs> Is that all I got? Just one break. Wow, thank you. You're so generous, game. <laughs> okay, come over here then, big boy. Come on, Poppet. You need to turn around. Come on, come on. Turn around, turn around. Ah, not getting bullets left. Oh, holy crap. Okay, okay, okay. It's all right. We'll just burn his eye. See you, son. Oh, that was close. Oh, no, I can't get across there and grab my loot. Oh, hell no. I've got a secret here, though. Super quick fire skill. I'll be running and gunning for days. Okay, it's puzzle time, it looks like. Let me into this room. It's everywhere, isn't it? Yep, Monokuma, best seller, top seller in this despair-filled world. Let's play Japan's number one game, Monokuma. Do you think they will gather around the part of the wall that's gonna collapse? Destroy them all with one supplosion. Okay, so this is gonna be very, very. Tr this is gonna be incredibly tricky. What the hell am I supposed to do here? I think I've got to grab Dancy Boy with the new Link bullets, take him along to there, and then get everybody else across. Gotta be very, very careful. Take that. There we go. Okay, now we gotta move this boy. Is there any way? We, we can't attack him. We got a siren type. Excuse me, boys. I'm just gonna come and chill out over here real quick. If I can get him here, now I should be able to get out of there. So he's across there. Let's quickly make him dance. Is that gonna make everybody move over to him now? So he's dancing. Is that going to take any boys? That's going to take those boys over there. Oh, it's going to take them all over. Now what I want to do is get rid of him there. Is that going to work? Oh, yes. That is how you do it, boys and girls. If that doesn't earn me a like and subscribe, I don't know what does. Also call me Monaco Man. Although I'm more of a Monaco boy. Kind of makes it sound like I got a thing for Monokumas. A nice to thing. Man, I love puzzle solving. All right, boys, calm down. Whoa, nice shot. <laughs> I'm just too good. I'm just too good. <laughs> ah, jump scared by a Monokuma. Where'd you go, boy? Where'd you go? Come on. That's nasty. I hate when they jump out like that. And they make such a loud noise as well. Oh, oh, oh you're hiding something on your booty over there. You got booty treats. Your boy loves him some booty treats. Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Yeah, probably. Is it really going to be okay? Yeah, sure, sure. Everything's going to be fantastic there, Toko. Memoirs of an adult in the resistance. Just as I thought, Haiji was right. There's a difference between courage and recklessness. My right leg got broken. My friends got killed. I wasn't just a reckless, incompetent person. I wasn't even sent to start a fight, but just to go scouting. I hate them. I hate those brats. From the bottom of my heart, I want to kill them all. I just want to... And kill them all! Wow! I would seriously f pay to see them die. I just want to crush their little beating hearts with my bare hands. I want to pulverize their skulls into dust. Even if it takes years off my life, I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them. I want to kill them so badly. All I can do is just sit here and cry. Oh, man. Now that's a despair note and a lot of censoring. Thanks very much, Danganronpa. Big Brother Leon, Big Brother Leon, Big Brother Leon, Big Brother Leon. That's a lot of Big Brother Leons in there. Was it Leon? Ko was it Leon Kawata from the first game? So, oh, that was a note for him, and 
well, sounds like they've gone a little bit cray cray, so. Well, it's not like uh, you can get the note anyway, right? Uh oh. Four. Maybe you can break it with an explosion? Destroy it with an explosion? Okay, so we've got link, break, and move are the things we can use. So, what floor am I supposed to be trying to destroy? That one over there. Maybe you have to start a chain explosion by controlling something? Ah, okay. Okay, okay. I see what I gotta do. So, we gotta get you. Let's send you that love heart. Oh, get in my belly, boy. Oh, here we go. So, we gotta send him over here. Because then I'll send off the first two. Right? Is that what I wanna do? Actually, no, I should be able to hit that last one. So what I probably want to do is Do I want to put him in the middle or do I want to put him in front? I think I want to actually put him in the middle Let's put him in the middle and then it'll be the final one that'll do it. Okay, let's do that Let's do it that way because th that's where the gap was. Yes, because I can get this guy from here So we get rid of him Come on, follow over, boy. That's the stuff. Now, is it gonna work? Oh, it's moved him one I don't know. I, I, I can't even see. I've just got to hope. I've got Let's try again. Did I? Am I supposed? Is it? Oh, oh, it's working better this time. Oh hell yeah! That's what it. That's what I was supposed to do. Did it work? Oh no, it didn't work. Oh, it did work. I'm confused. I'm confused. I think it reset the puzzle because it didn't work properly the first time. But I don't understand why it didn't work first properly the first time. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, my skills are incredible. You're awfully excited by all that destruction. You're actually a terrifying woman deep down. <laughs> you should see my deep no. Toko, look! I thought her name was Toki. Looks like we can get down now. Oh, you said the, the, the train is a ladder. Well, not wow, the train that itself. sure was an impressive show. Mm. What? What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, exactly! Look! Look here, yeah! You duck! I'm not afraid to shoot my love gun. Mm-hmm. Come on. If we go down this ladder, we can get down to the sewers. Yay! Stank time, baby! Yeah, but do you really intend to go back to those guys? Hell yeah, we gotta find out what we're doing. We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Yeah, we gotta go and speak to Shirokuma, who I think is still working with Nagato. Which one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. We have the same goal. We all want to stop those out of control kids, right? And if it's for that cause, I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia too. Yeah! Wow, you've changed quite a bit. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? Yeah, probably not. But at least they won't arrest us, right? We'll be fine. I'm more of a coward than they are. But I'm still doing my best. Oh, it's a story of doing your best. Well, if you say so, I believe you. Thanks, Toki. <laughs> After all, we're friends. Why are you saying that so creepily? It's kind of like you're getting a little bit aroused. You look really scary when you say that. Well, what do you mean I'm scary? You are. Fine, be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Give her head pats or hey, something. Wait, Togo! I was just kidding! Give her head pats. She'll appreciate head pats, right? She loves affection. <laughs> her hair's gonna be greasy. Uh oh. Oh no! You fooled us from the very beginning. Mm. He fools you everyone. He's acting like you don't know. I heard it all. Oh, poor Nagato. Oh! Ugh. Damn! Confess! You were lying to us the whole time! Don't say anything. <laughs> Don't worry, Nagasa. He's a very, very frustrating boy. Hey, you guys breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Okay. Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you likes house. More than plenty, damn it. <laughs> Shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history. And this guy interfered. Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. <laughs> I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what? Actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Oh, he's getting mad now. He's getting real mad. Not his, oh, not in his Monokuma junk. Ooh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? 
This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's all your fault. Don't be mad, Nagisa. Uh oh, it's her. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Wait, what? Huh? What is this twist of fate? M Monica, what did you say? Ahem. Like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. Why? What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kamara Nagi all the way back here. Why? You're lying, right? This is some kind of joke, Rob. Sorry, it's the truth. What? Well, what's her what? game? Why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, that's too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, huh? Oh, don't understand what? But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And, and that's why we caused this revolution, right? Sorry. Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. Oh, she's horrible. I don't like her. I really don't. At least I can respect Nagisa. He's trying to create a better world, blah, blah, blah. Monica, she's just a demon with green hair, moldy hair, tentacle hair. Oh. I guess you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. I have no interest whatsoever in the paradise where kids can live peacefully. What is your goal? S stop kidding around, Monica. What the heck is this? Sorry, but this is all for the sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. No, 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 no. Don't, don't bring her in it. The second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. Who's that? My name is different from Mr. Servants. Well, we agreed to work together at the beginning. So don't get so jealous, Nagisa. Oh, don't you get act all innocent. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. Right? For Monica's sake. Just, just slap her now. Just slap her. Kick her out of her wheelchair. I won't judge you for that. Just do it. Huh? Oh! <gasps> no! Mm. No! No! <laughs> no, buddy, no! No, this isn't cool. That's not cool. Leave him alone. Get your dirty little hands off of him. What? <laughs> I totally stole Nagisa's first kiss. Oh, she is evil and manipulative. You are a devil. What are you doing? You love Monica, right? You can't live without Monica, right? What? You love me so much. Sometimes you even have perverted thoughts about me, right? No, kick her out of her wheelchair. Stop. Please, stop. Nagisa. <laughs> You got to kiss Monica, right? If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. No! So you'll listen to Monica's little request, right? She's gone cray cray, man. She's gone absolutely off the deep end. Don't come near me! Get away from me! Get away! It's such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations of you because you're so smart. And you even have high expectations for yourself. And you're always suffering from that, right? I said, don't come near me! Oh, he did it! Monica won't expect anything of you. Huh? What? She's a monster! How did I know you're a phaser? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret. After all, you're just a weak, weak little child. No one expects anything from. Cold! I said get back! Maybe nobody ever expected anything of you in the first place. You probably just thought they did. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. What the hell is going- Don't Come near me! Nagisa! Get back. Get back! Stop, buddy! Jeez, Monica. So vulgar as usual. Seriously. You hit a girl. How uncool. Agreed. But... Monica loves how uncool and worthless you are, Nagisa. She's a horrible thing. Monica loves you most in the whole wide world. Leave that boy alone. Leave him alone. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. Creepy and bad. Stop it. Stop. If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, 
You gotta listen to Monica's requests, okay? I've got requests. Shut the hell up! For Monica's sake, kill all the adults. Risk your life for Monica. Isn't that nice, Nagisa? Nagisa, big dog, man. You should have ran away. Like, you could. <laughs> She's in a wheelchair, man. Come on. Hey, Toko. What? We've been walking around the sewer so long. Do you think it'll be okay? What do you mean? Like, is this smell gonna stick to me? <laughs> I'm starting to worry I'll never get it off. Ah, sorry. You don't want me to talk about smells, do you? No, it's just rude. Well, because she smells because she doesn't bath. The oh. darkness is killing me. Oh, I'm sure you're fine with it, being a sewer girl. What? Now that's an insult I haven't heard before. <laughs> sewer girl! That sounds like a good one. Oh, we got some secrets over there, but I need to get off of this first. Ooh, we got some prizes, and you know what that means? More Manakuma ripping tools. Oh, battery. Useless. I don't even use her. I don't even use her. Right, we got a secret over here. Let's grab this bad boy real quick. A girl's bond. <laughs> Hello. How to kill demons masterpiece number four. Cut off one centimeter every day so they die super slow. Pour 999 degree water onto their eyeballs to kill them. Stuff them into the dryer and turn it on. Imprison a bunch of them and make them kill each other. Kill them. Kill them all. Kill, kill, killy, kill, kill. Well, well articulated plan there. I think I got the message. They're not following us this time, right? I don't think so. I don't see anyone. I think we're okay. The problem is the adults. I don't know if they'll even listen to us. Use your womanly charms, Toko. I'm sure it will be fine. If we do our best to persuade them, I'm sure it'll work out. Yeah! <laughs> the former you would have been sobbing and crying out, What? Toko! Toko! <laughs> I don't talk! Like that. You kind of do. Well, even if you're bound to fail, I'll always proudly watch over you. Probably, not definitely. Yeah, just having you here by my side is reassuring. You know I was being sarcastic, right? Oh. Ah, right. If you meant it as actual encouragement, then you're the one who's changed. Ha, <laughs> got him. That'd be no good. Having a dirty mouth and a heart of gold is like my thing. Uh, wait. What? Do you hear that? No. What? Oh no. S screams? That's not good, that's not good. Toko, hurry! That's really not good! What the hell's going on? The children are gathering. What's going on? Oh no. I have no. a bad feeling about this. Nagisa, it's gotta be Nagisa. Nagisa's up there, isn't he? Um, get in, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna borrow this real quick. It's clearly a secret. Children's Paradise Commandments, number four. Number one, inscribe on your hearts the fact that the now is the most precious thing we have. Number one again, do not kill pets with adorbs faces. One, do not lose hope. Anyone who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Hide your video games somewhere you'll never find them. That's a horrible punishment. I take it that's the, the girl with the pink hair. K Kotoko? Because she was the one that always said totes adorbs and all that junk. Anyway, let's go upstairs. We saved her. She owes us. Because we are Totes adorbs. Why are they here again? I don't understand. Why are they here again? Why are these guys so useless at defending themselves? It's always down to me to help them. It's ridiculous. Shirakuma! I'm so glad you guys came. What is going on here? A huge group of Monokumas ambushed us. Well, we can please, please help us. I will try, buddy. Why did you not- like there's no time to waste. No, there's not. I don't even know how I'm going to be able to do this, to be honest. Kamaru, oh, Togo, come on. Right, okay, 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 okay. This, is, this isn't good, this isn't good. Hey, stop that. Come on. Get away. Right, who else have we got in here? Who else is going to get attacked? Shirokuma's there. Who else? Oh, we got, the, we got this boy here. Come on, get out of here. Who else have we got? We got some boys coming over here. Get out. We got some boys. Where are they? Come on, stop it. Oh, come on. That's a brilliant shot. Hell yes. Oh, my gentle Jesus. I hate that. It's the auto aim in this game for the weapons is just ridiculous. I hate it. Makes things a lot more difficult. It's all 
over. Yeah, but unfortunately, most of them got ripped because they're all oh, aim. I'm not salty, by You're the way. Right. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. They want to destroy us all. They won't stop after this. They never will. Well, using that information, Shirokuma, how the hell have you not moved your secret base away from here because you knew they would come back? You're a moron. You're all morons. I'm working with dummies. I'm working with dummies. Never? I'm just so tired. I don't know if I can keep up anymore. You didn't even do anything! Um, I have a little proposition for you. Will you hear me out? Look, buddy, we don't have time for a threesome. Thanks for the offer, though. What kind of proposition? The enemies aren't attacking from the front, but from the hole at the back of the base. Oh, cheeky back entrance, eh? Nice, To hold out against the enemy attack, we have to find some way to block the hole. Okay. Block the hole, but how? To tell you the truth, high explosives are packed inside my body in case of emergency. Okay, see you later, Shirokuma. You mean in a suicide attack? But my self-destruct button was damaged in battle. I can't do it on my own. So there's no choice but to ask you to do it. What do you mean? You you want Kamaru to shoot you so you explode? Oh no! N no, I can't do it. I can't do that. But this is the only way to save everyone. I'm scared too, but it will be all right. Oh, Shirokuma, I was joking. I didn't want you to actually go boom boom. It feels strange, but thinking about saving everyone gives me courage. You beautiful son of a gun. Maybe that's not saying much, coming from an AI inside a Monokuma. But it's the truth. And if it's for everyone's lives, then I'm not scared at all. So please. B Bad news. The Monokumas are coming through the hole in the back. Jesus. I beg you, please. Take me to the hole and let me save everyone. I'm not taking you to my hole. Rude, Shirokuma. Oh, no. Komaru, now's your chance. Shoot me. Oh, this is horrible. No, no, I, I can't. I can't do it. There's got to be another option, a secret option, a secret fifth option. Komaru, no matter how scared you are, there are times that you have to fight. There are times you need to stand up. Times you can't be afraid of death. Do it before we lose something important. You are important, Shirokuma. Shirokuma. But if you still think you can't... What's he doing? I'm gonna kill you! Wait, what? <gasps> Wait, no, no, Shirokuma, don't do it like Come this, on, dog! shoot me! Shoot me, Komaru! There! I shot you. I shot you, buddy. How's that? This is just sad now. Okay. I, I don't want to do this, buddy, but I'm going to have to, okay? Why? Why did... No. This is horrible. At least I'm going to do you the justice of shooting you with a nice shot. Please tell me there wasn't a secret option for me to not do that. No cry! Toko, you moron! Why were you so close? Why did I do that? Huh? Toko's eyes. What just... Please tell me, Master Biakia. So, you're awake. You guys lost consciousness after the explosion. Um, where's Shirokuma? What happened to him? He's in Robo Heaven. Thanks to Shirokuma, the hole was blocked. His sacrifice saved us all. Sacrifice? Then that means... All I need is the CO2 that Master exhaled. I, I can live on just that. What? Jeez, wake up already! Huh? This isn't the time for one of your nasty ass fantasies. I know AIs typically sacrifice themselves in situations like this, but I didn't think. He got out of jail and come back here. <laughs> you have some courage. Big balls. You? But we're the ones who saved you. You should be thanking us. Well, most of the thanks goes to Shirokuma. 
Though I am willing to acknowledge that you're not spies. Thank you, finally. You're so kind, Toa. Th that's it. That's all you'll acknowledge? Now is not the time for this kind of argument. But thanks to Shiokuma, we're out of danger. For now. The problem's far from solved. Yeah, you need to move everybody the hell away from here. It's a horrible place to hole up now. What's going on? Behold, those brats opened his clothes now, but we have Monokumas at the front entrance. We can hold them off for a little while, but if this keeps up... So we're running out of time. Damn it. Do they really intend to destroy this base at any cost? So what are you gonna do? You gonna wait for an opportunity, as usual? Haiji, if we don't do something now, we... I know. I know. No matter how scared you are, there are times when you have to fight. Huh. Shirokuma said that. There are times when you need to stand up and not be afraid of death. We have to do something before we lose something important. Toko, lend me your hand. Huh? Uh, okay. Let's go do this. Why are we pushing over a truck? Oh, we're just gonna stand on top of it, are we? I said I'd lend you a hand, not be your stepladder. <laughs> Come on, shenanigans time. Oh, geez, she's got a good view. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Nice booty. Um, please listen up. Huh? What is she doing? What are you doing? <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah, you just made a scene. You better, you better start speaking, girl. I. Don't have any talent. I'm just a normal girl. Not special or anything. And I know you guys don't have any reason to listen to someone like me. But, but, well... How do I put it? Listen up, suckers! There's something I want to say. But, because... I'm a normal human. With no talent. Um, uh... I... I'm sorry, I, I really don't know how to put it. Hey, Kamaru! Toko, what do I do? Why are you asking me? You didn't plan this out? <laughs> then what are you up there for? Yeah, I... I don't really know. For now, let me just say this. I'm with you, so do your best. Hell yeah, Toki! Toko... Yeah. I'm just like everyone here. I got caught up in something I didn't understand at all, and I couldn't do anything. S so I... I guess I'll just say to you what I wish I said to myself. Hey! How much longer are you going to be just another victim? Huh? You're normal. You're weak. How much longer are you going to use those damn excuses? Hell You're yeah. just happy to be a victim! And ignore everything around you. Are you really okay with that, you coward? Talent or whatever, that doesn't even matter. No matter how much talent or power you have, you can't avoid being scared or hurt. You let everyone else handle things that scare you and say, I can't help it, I'm normal. Are you really going to stay that way forever? Maybe you can't help being normal. But you can't just keep using that as an excuse. If you do, if you do... Someday, you're gonna lose something that's important to you, you know? And after that, it'll be too late. It's obvious that we're all afraid. I'm just as scared as you are. But even though I'm afraid, I know I made the right decision. To stay here with Toko. Because if I just went and left her, I think I would have regretted it. Yes, yeah, you would have. Kamaru, I... Along with Toko and everyone here, want a happy ending. Boom. A proper happy ending. That's super cliche and predictable, where everyone's smiling. So please, please, let's make that ending happen. Let's stand up against this despair together. That, that's it. That's all I have to say. Sorry for being so loud. Come on, just give that girl a clap. Just give her the clap, the a, a clap, not the clap. Well, feel stupid now. 
You just got told by a normal high school chick. Lol! Wait here. I'm going to make some preparations. Oh, are you preparations? now? Preparations? For what? Well, I have a trump card. And I might as well bet the house on it. Okay. A trump card? Oh, Togo. <laughs> You're like one of those lame kids who try to motivate everyone and fail completely. Oh, you didn't fail, my girl. It was good enough. Not bad for your first try. Hell, I even feel a little impressed. Wow. Really? Though it was painful to listen to. <laughs> Especially that cringy star, Jeez. So it was awful. No. But it looks like you were able to motivate the cowards here a little bit. You inspired me. I never expected you to start a speech like that. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure I'll try to forget this ever happened later. <laughs> but, you know, you might be right after all. Huh? Oh, oh Shirokuma! Wait, hold on. What's that you're holding? Why are you holding his head? What, this? <laughs> it's Shirokuma, of course. Yeah, I can see that. Why you got his head? Kamaru and Toko, thank you for earlier. And your speech just now was splendid, too. Oh, he's still going! Shirakuma, you're alive? The only thing left is my head, but my AI chip is in there, safe and sound. It's a miracle! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> it's not exactly a triumphant resurrection, but here I am, nonetheless. You beautiful son of a gun. Welcome home. Poppy was worried about you. I heard you sacrificed yourself. So I thought, well, that was pretty misleading. Yeah, clickbait or what? But I'm relieved. If you're alive, then everything's fine. Mm. Uh, looks like you made that traumatizing speech for nothing then. Was it that bad? No, no, it was great. I feel like you gave everyone a little light of hope, but it's still a small light. In order to make it grow, we need to do something more. Hey, the preparation's done. We gotta hurry and get out of here. Okay. Get out of here? Huh. Looks like he's finally gonna start fighting back. Is it true, Haiji? That's all thanks to you, Shirokuma. You risked your life for us. I finally realized what I need to do. Good man. So thanks, Bear. Huh. Haiji. Looks like your speech wasn't that memorable. <laughs> well, don't <say> <laughs> From here on, I want you two to follow me to a certain place. Oh, um, hello. Buy me dinner first, buddy. It's where our game-changing trump card is hidden, but it's not going to be easy. You guys better prepare yourselves. Okay. Well, I guess I hardly have to tell you that. Well, we are pretty badass. We'll for you at the entrance. Okay. Sounds good to me, man. I'm just going to go and use the, the, the bathroom real quick. Uh, there's a lot of people hanging about me. Not sure. How I feel about that. And my reward at the end of it all is to speak to the bay. Okay. How's it going, baby girl? Oh, she's winking at me. Oh, I've missed this. Yeah, but you guys are just like I thought you'd be. Thanks to you two, the atmosphere of this place is really brightened up. It was creepy before. <laughs> really? I don't think we made the place any brighter. She doesn't mean it like that. She means the mood of the place. She's saying that thanks to you and Shirakuma, the ambience here has improved. Yeah. Exactly right, Fufu. You're good at explaining stuff. Anyway, thanks, guys. No worries. <laughs> Shirakuma deserves the most thanks. Maybe, but you were pretty courageous yourself, you know. Oh, I know. Well, if you say so, thank you. Just kidding. There. Was that so... Hard, but I gotta say, compared to your sad face, you're much cuter like this. Oh, right. Did you find any more of these lists of people with wristbands? Yes, I did, actually. I found quite a few of them. Hand over the list. Yes, let's hand it over real quick. Okay, so let's take you, which is actually your name as well. <laughs> you, you, you were a nurse? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Didn't I tell you? I might not look like it, but I used to work day and night in that uniform. You worked at, at, at nighttime in that uniform? Baby girl, come over here. Just kidding. I had a reputation in the hospital that my blood drawing skills never missed a vein. A nurse who's a former delinquent. Pretty cliche. Do you have a heart of gold too? Uh. Well, anyway, the, about the sun. Do, do you have a son, Miss Hagakure? You're mm. right. Yeah, one. A little older than you two. Proud of him. A very successful boy. In what way exactly? <laughs> Did you say something, Toko? <laughs> no. I was just thinking what a doting parent she is. 
<laughs> it's brilliant. He's a sharp boy, handsome, tall, kind. If he didn't come out of me, I wouldn't believe he was my own kid. <laughs> well, thanks for that image. Yeah. But even if my son is perfect, something's been bugging me. It's just a small thing, but he's just a teeny insy bit clumsy with money. He's in debt. Uh, oh, well, if he's so successful, he should be able to pay off his debt right away, right? Oh, and he repeated middle school and high school about four times? <laughs> well, I've heard that really smart kids don't always do well in school. Mm. Oh, yeah, and he's also just terrible with women. Oh. I'm sure he's popular. What's going on? It's getting pretty tough to defend him at this point, isn't it? Yes, kid. Well, all those flaws are kind of cute, too, in a way. <laughs> yeah, I figured you'd say that. You really are a doting parent. Oh, ho, 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 poor boy. Oh. Ayaka Hanayama, let's hand over this one next. What do we got here? Could it be? Yeah, it totally is. There's no mistake in it. This has to be her. What's going on? What are you talking about? Uh, Ayaka Hanayama? It's Ayakatsu. Hmm. Ayakatsu? You know her, Coco? Not personally. She's Ayakatsu, the Iron Guardian deity from that national idol group. You don't recognize her? Her catchphrase is, Rock you like Ayakatsu! Mm. Ah, I remember. I saw her on TV before. That idol group with Sayaka at the center. I knew Sayaka's bandmate. Right, her group. B bringing in the cash from gullible idiots like Kamaru. She can't be that talented. <laughs> hey, did you just make fun of Sayaka? Uh, I was making fun of you. Jeez. Pick on me as much as you want, but don't you dare pick on my favorite idol. Huh? Your favorite? If you must know, I'm a Sayaka. What? Sayaka? Sayaka has over 100 million fans. That's what we call ourselves, Sayakers. I shouldn't have to tell you that you do not want to make enemies of us. Yeah. Mm, so, what kind of things do these Sayakas do anyway? <laughs> well, nothing specific. We're just people who like Sayaka and cheer for her. In my case, I buy CDs and merch with my monthly allowance. And guess what? Sayaka and Makoto went to the same middle school. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, we already know that. And she played on it. The, the harlot. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. But anyway, why is Ayakasu in a place like this? All right. Miss Hagakure, I put my faith in you for Sayaka's everywhere. Well, I'll do my best. Hell yeah! Mr. Fujisaki! Ooh, Chihiro's father. Oh, poor guy. Hmm, hmm apparently he's run to a tower. Did you guys run into him? Oh, we may have. We did, but before we went up the tower. Oh, this doesn't sound good. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't. He was attacked by a Monokuma and killed right in front of us. Unforgivable! God damn it! Those little sh have no right. Not just the kids, but no one has any goddamn right to kill anyone. I gotta rig those brats over the friggin' coals. Ooh, okay. His name was Taiachi Fujisaki. You're right. Yeah. Aww. He was a good man. A devoted father. He sure was. I hope his daughter is okay, at least. Yeah, I think she's doing just fine. Oh, she's lying. Oh, oh, bless Toko. Grande boy, Sherry Ludenberg. Okay, it's the cat of uh, Celestia. Uh, this is a cat, right? I'm not going crazy, am I? <laughs> nope, that's definitely a cat. Right. It's a cat. Hey, hey. Oh, sh I never thought a cat would end up a target. Well, those brats weren't originally responsible for kidnapping the captives, but they're still going to use this cat as a target? That's pretty messed up. <laughs> Check out that name, Grand Boar something. That's one hell of a name. Yeah, I can't tell if it's fancy long or gaudy long. It's lame is what it is. That cat owner sucks at naming. Mm -hmm. Do you know who owns this cat? <laughs> Do I? No, I don't think so. You do, you do. Mm -hmm. Well, even if it's just a cat, I can't just let the kids get it. I'll send someone over. Even if that cat makes it all the way home, its owner won't be waiting for it. 
Hmm? Oh, did you say something? Nothing. Nothing. I just think this cat has a bad personality, that's all. He's like a fat Garfield. Actually, Garfield was fat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Garfield. I shouldn't be throwing that shade at you. I should be throwing lasagna. And we've got the last one here. Yamada. Fujiko Yamada. Who was this again? I can't remember who this was. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> what happened? Are, are, are you choking? Vacuum. Get the vacuum. <gasps> no, this woman is the author of Tara Star Spa. What? Tara Super? What's that? Mm. Mm, it says she's a manga artist, so it must be the title of a manga, right? Not just any manga, a manga masterpiece! The drawings of food are so well done, it's said that reading it will make you start to drool! Yeah, yeah I feel like I saw my son reading it. <gasps> so teach your second fry was just a pen name for this woman. What a shocking scoop! Jeez, where did this enthusiasm come from? Well, she loves her manga, come on. This is big news, huge news! The end of the century and the next generation of Space Wars! What? Yeah. Well, if she's that famous, I kind of want to meet her. If there's an opportunity, I'll be sure to get an autograph. <laughs> thank, thank you so much! Oh, but make sure it isn't addressed to me. Uh, that'll make the value go way down. <laughs> That's exactly what you would say if you were going to sell the thing. There's no way I'd sell it! Don't downplay my respect of manga artists! What's going on? You don't have to take it so seriously. Well, she's a serious person. Anyway, baby, I will Mwah. see you later. That speech earlier, you were so cool! You spoke so well, I got goosebumps! You've really grown since I first met you. <laughs> no, not really. The reason I was able to act so cool was because of the sacrifice you made, Shirokuma. Oh. <laughs> so, I was that cool, huh? But, but you're still much cooler than me. <laughs> no, no, you are so much cooler. What's going on? So, how much longer are you going to keep up this modesty battle? <laughs> I love her. All right, then, champ, let's do this. What do you got up your sleeves for us? Well, it looks like the monokumas are easing off a bit. Now's a good time to head out. All right, what do you want us to do? Hi, G. Um, where are we going? Didn't I tell you? The place where our trump card is hidden. And just what the hell is this trump card? And why didn't you say anything about it earlier? I'm not trying to be cryptic. It's just hard to explain in words. Okay, that's cryptic. It's much easier if you see it with your own eyes. Then you'll understand. I promise. Okay. Jeez, you sound like some manga protagonist from the 90s. <laughs> anyway, it's our last hope for stopping the kids before it gets any worse. If there's one thing I know for sure. This is our last shot. Okay, let's do it properly then, big boy. Does something like that really exist? I'm telling you because I trust you guys. And I need you two to trust me as well. Hmm, jury's still out, buddy. Ah, so not only are you chicken, you're also a narcissistic Whoa, Toko! However, getting there is going to be a problem. Let me think. Uh-oh. You look like you're in better shape than her. I'll leave this to you. What? Me and four eyes will go in the back. <laughs> It'll be cramped, but you'll have to deal with it for now. Okay. What do you mean, leave it to me? Oh, you want me to Listen, drive? It's important that you don't freak out. If you don't, we should be fine. What do you mean? It's not an explanation. Yeah, what am I going to be doing? Four. Didn't he just say not to freak out? I don't really get it, but you should prepare yourself. Okay. Wait! I haven't mentally prepared myself yet. Enough with the complaints. Let's just go. Uh-oh. What's going to be happening? I don't like that. Oh, we're on a motorbike. What? Yahoo! <laughs> <laughs> Slow down. I haven't mentally prepared myself yet. Look at our glasses. They're going flying. Enough with the complaints. Let's go. Oh, per Haiji as well. <laughs> I thought you'd be the one freaking out, Kamaru. I've never ridden one of these before. This is so fun. <laughs> Why is Kamaru the one driving? She doesn't even have a license. It's all more fun, baby. You can't drive with my arm like this. It's not like cops are gonna pull us over or something. Well, that's true. Y you're right, but. Hey, listen. We never know when the Monokumas might attack next. Let's speed it up. Hell yeah! Roger! More power, baby! <laughs> We're here. We are? Where are we? Yeah, where are we? Are you taking us to a secluded spot to to do stuff with us? Toko, get your mind out of the gutter. If that's your plan, hurry up and get it over with. I won't resist. Toko! Um, no. That's not what I was thinking at all. 
Especially not with you. Cold Haiji! I, uh, I like him younger. As young as possible. Whoa, that's illegal! Actually, can I leave now? Yeah, please! Anyway, it's time. Careful of where you stand. <laughs> if you talk, you might bite your tongue. What? Is this an elevator? What? You never expect such an elaborate machine here, right? That's how you know it's important. This is Toa Group's secret factory, after all. Oh. Secret factory? Me like it. This place was restricted to top executives only. During emergencies, the restrictions get tougher. Now, the only ones who can move this elevator are me and my old man. I see. So not even the brats can get into this place. Very interesting. Me likey. I'm still not liking the fact what you said earlier on, Toa. I think you need to go to jail, buddy. You're a bad man. What is going on in here? Um, isn't it about time you tell us what you're hiding here? Yeah, please do. I've told you already. It's our last hope. And it's deep inside this factory. However, we do have a bit of a problem. Oh, what? It's the reason I was hesitant to come here in the first place. What? Just say it! In order to deter intruders and thieves, our family uses monokumas to guard the area. Brilliant, excellent, thank you. Monokumas? Ever since the riot, we haven't been able to contact the office that controls them. So what I can guess, the monokumas here had the control functions broken. Why did you use monokumas in the first place? Does that mean you created them? But they would even attack me like I was any other adult. Okay, just wait. Slow down a sec. Why are the monokumas exactly. here in the first place? Didn't the kids bring them? Yeah, I expected this reaction. Yeah, of course! But you'll know the answer to that question as well once we're through here. You created them, didn't you? You... you're being awfully suspicious. I knew the Toa group was bad. I knew it! Yeah, probably. I even think so myself. But for now, will you please trust me? It's hard! I'm begging you. You two are the only ones who can make it through here. You have to help. There's no way I can do it alone. But I'm not just going to abandon the hope that's in here. I took your words to heart. That I need to fight back. No giving up. Haiji... Toko, why don't we just try going there for now? I mean, we've gone this far already. If he does anything I don't like along the way, I'm turning around and leaving. Deal. That sounds fair to me. The trump card is deep inside this factory. We need to take the elevator to the bottom floor. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like- Why is there no save point? Where the hell is the save point these days? Okay. Oh. Okay, what the hell's going on here now? This is getting wild, this game. Oh, lasers! Lasers! We, we just set off security. Oh, careful. If you touch the lasers, the alarm goes off. You could have told us that before! You should have said that earlier! Exactly. Oh. Oh, this isn't good. This is not good. Now we're on lockdown. Thank you. Oh. Shirokumas. They're all like Shirokuma for some reason. Got to knock him out. Got to knock him out first, and then that should get Defeat rid of the rest. The Monokuma, or else he'll just keep coming. Bye, boy. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Oh. Well, that was. That was. Am I that good? I think so. I. I am that good. Okay. Now, how are we gonna Be do careful. this? Don't get caught in the lasers, okay? Okay, I'll try oh, my best. Jeez. Right, okay, okay. Which way am I gonna go? We're gonna go this way. There's a secret right there. Can I go through this door? What's in here? Ah, toilet. Finally, this is more like it. Also, a secret. Okay, what was the incident all about? Okay, though the tragedy that painted the world with despair shows signs of calming after the death of the ringleader, it has not completely settled. However, in light of current events, shouldn't we look back at what the tragedy can teach us and prepare for preventative measures? A thorough investigation to the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the human history of mankind? Which reminds me... You were abducted around the time the incident was escalating, right? 
so I can assume that you haven't really experienced that incident. Well, by the time I was abducted, the world was already pretty messed up. The crime rate was high, the war had started, seven of my classmates had died. What? Do you mean they were killed by despair? No. I'm not really sure if they died, but one day, all seven of them went missing. And a little while after, someone mailed a package to the school. 35 fingers were inside. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, that is horrible. They never ended up finding them. <laughs> There's no way they're still alive. Oh no, because I went through that. I'm worried about my parents. <laughs> if your brother was here, I'm sure he'd say something like this. Do not lose hope. I see. Hope. Yeah, you're right. It's not like I know for sure check when my parents are dead. Huh? Chaco? Oh, my friend who disappeared. Her name was Chaco. <sighs> oh, you had a nickname for her? Yeah, she was a pretty close friend after all. Your friend Chaco? Could it be? Are you jealous? <laughs> what? Of course not. Don't even think that. Why would I be jealous of a girl with a big brother complex like you? I told you, I don't have a big brother complex. <laughs> I'm sure you're just hiding it from me. Your favorite thing to say is, I love you, big bro. I can't even abandon the idea that you two eat all your food by mouth to mouth. Jeez, that's way past big brother complex at that point. That's just nasty, Toko. That's real. I'm going to have to go to the toilet. Don't peek. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to end off this video here. I've been recording for a hell of a long time. So hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, 2,500 beautiful likes will get you another video in two days' time. Because the action is really heating up now, baby. Let me know what your favorite moment of this video was. And I'm going to get the hell out of here. I've been Razbowski. You've been the beautiful Razbreeze, as always, for watching. I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.